Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to flip number 68. This is back in October. I'm still, you know, doing flip throughs through my month of October, even though it is currently November 3rd, I believe. So let's get started. So today um, I had playtime in my art room and I made this little book here that was inspired by um, Jenny Belly's Inspiration Station journals. And so I had a lot of fun making that. Um, what else? Yeah, this is my dysautonomia plaque. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following or not, but the month of October is Dysautonomia Awareness Month. So I have a little fact about dysautonomia, which is an umbrella term for the chronic illness that I have. And so on each page, I'm trying to incorporate, you know, a plaque for that. Um, yeah, a verse that was um, important to me that day. And the next day here, let's see. I remember I was helping my daughter to make um, a project for her sorority sister. And so I had made... Uh, Peter Pan stencils. I had made the four, you know, the three kids and Peter Pan in stencils and um, to help her with her project. So I was doing that. And this is just a little quote from Peter Pan, I believe. Um, let's see. Yeah. And then today, this day, I spent most of the day playing catch up in my Fobonichi. As most of you know, if you've been on my channel at all, <laughs> I do not work in this book daily, even though I have daily entries. So yeah, a lot of times I pick a day and I sit down and I work on multiple pages at a time. And then this, I happen to be um, clipping magazine clippings and found this. And I just thought it was so funny that I found it because this is kind of like my sign off when y'all comment on my videos here. This is kind of like my, uh, my sign off when I respond to you. So I added that in there. There's my dysautonomia plaque. And then this is just, um, a song that resonated with me that day. Usually when I'm sitting in my art room working on whatever I'm working on, whether it's the Fobonichi or some kind of art project or whatever, I sit and listen to a Pandora station that is called Casting Crowns and it is um, faith-based music. And yeah, so this was a song and um, whenever I hear a song that just really touches my heart, I print out the lyrics and stick them in. And this actually here is a birthday card that I cut in half. Um, these are some cards that I have uh, for, you know, to send out for birthdays, but I just love this whimsical, uh, picture on the front. And so, yep, we can find use in just about everything. So, whoops. Okay. So this day, yeah, it was sleepless in SoFlo. Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened. I just had the worst night's sleep that night. And, um, yeah, I, I tried, I tried to fall asleep. I finally fell asleep around 12 a.m., which is, well, kind of early for me. <laughs> but then I was back up at 2.30, then I was back up at 5, and I finally got out of bed at 7, and that's how I looked that morning. Um, and then this down here, these are like bloodshot eyes. You know, it's um, it's lovely washi tape that um, a Facebook friend gave me. And, yeah, that's how my eyes look that morning. Um, fall is in the air cause it was cooler that morning when I got up and then I had some painting fun that day in between loads of laundry. So let's see what I was painting. It's hard for me to see. Um, oh, I was painting, um, and preparing a new inspiration journal. So that's what I was doing that day. Oh, and this, this here is just my dysautonomia plaque. And then this, uh, because, you know, the month of October, I, we don't really celebrate. In fact, we don't. There's no really about it. We don't celebrate Halloween in our house. We just never have. And um, but I thought this was appropriate for the month of October. I had gotten up and was, you know, playing around in my art room and I had this huge cobweb hanging from the ceiling. So I took that down. And this is a cute little sticker also that I received in Happy Mail. So that was a good place to use it. 
Um, and then this day here, let me think back a little bit. Huh. I was anxious. Why was I anxious? Okay, that's why. I was anxious because if you'd seen my video or vlog, um, I don't know, a few vlogs ago, I had been diagnosed with um, malignant melanoma. So the next day I was going to be having surgery. And so I was more than a bit anxious, actually. And this is a little like a song that my husband had sent me in his uh, morning love letter email to me. And so I decided to print it out and put it in here. And yeah, he always brightens my day. It's, you know, the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is read his love letter. Um, and then I helped my daughter again with her um, sorority project. So and there's my dysautonomia plaque. And then I had surgery this day on my face. Um, and yeah, I had 24 stitches. <laughs> um, I had five stitches on the inside and 19 stitches on the outside. And I'll have, um, you know, a nice scar, two and a half inch scar on my face. So anywho, um, yeah, on this day, we were hoping and praying that the doctor had gotten all the cancer. Um, and so we were awaiting the results of that biopsy. It was actually an excision biopsy. So anyway, um, and I was so, I was very comforted, um, because my keeper of my heart, which is my husband, he was there to hold my hand through the entire procedure. And I was so thankful that he was able to be there with me. There's my dysautonomia plaque. And I, um, this verse right here, Romans 8, 38 and 39, um, just really touched my heart that day. That was on my mind that day. And then this day here, the next day, I went out with the gems. I Maybe they didn't have school, I'm guessing. Not really sure why. Huh. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, we went out that morning to a diner, a drugstore diner that is in our town. And um, yeah, it's been there since the 50s. And it's just, you know home cooked meals, I guess, down home, you know, home cooked meals. So we had a good time there together. And then I did find the little um, shelf that had my favorite violet scented gum on it. So I bought up a whole bunch of packs of that. And then we went over to Michael's. And let me tell you, I mean, if y'all know me at all, I do not like hobby stores. <laughs> I don't well, I don't like shopping in general. But I especially don't like hobby stores because they are just so overwhelming to me. So my kids probably they felt, you know, bad for me because of my surgery the previous day and all that. So they're like, Oh, let's go to Michael's, you know, thinking, you know, I mean, that it would cheer me up, I guess. I didn't need cheering up. I mean, I was I was fine. But um, yeah, so they were being so sweet. So we drove out to Michael's. And I literally I went in there and I I didn't really have anything in mind. There were just some things that you know that I've had been wanting, but didn't necessarily need. And so I went around. I actually had stuff in my basket, right? We get up to like the cashier line or whatever, and I'm like, you know what? I don't need any of this stuff. So I went and put everything back <laughs> and just left the store empty handed. My kids were like, you are so weird, mom. <laughs> but oh, well, you know, um, and then this was the project that my daughter was working on, and it was for her big sister in her sorority. And um, her big sister has like a tattoo uh, with a, a Peter Pan quote on it. So my daughter designed her little project thing, um, painted the clock, and then I helped her with the stencils and the lettering. It came out really cute. And then there's my um, dysautonomia plaque. And then this here, let's see. Oh, okay. So this was a Saturday and my husband took some time in the morning. Um, he was up early and all of a sudden I hear all this ruckus outside only to wake up and discover that he was taking down the shutters from way back, you know, from a couple weeks ago from um, being shuttered up in anticipation for Hurricane Matthew. Um, so yeah, 
we were no longer living in the cave. <laughs> so that was nice. And then with my husband, yeah, we were running errands that day and we had to go to the pool store and Tuesday morning was right across the street and my husband had never been there before. So we went over there. He really, he likes stores like that. I mean, I do too, but you know, like I said, I don't really like shopping all that much. And I really didn't find anything craft worthy at Tuesday morning. Usually they have a pretty good selection. And all I found was this stamp down here that I used. Um, my husband, I think, found a couple of things maybe. And I also got some advent calendars for my kids. Can you believe my kids are 18 and 20 and I have never, we've never done advent calendars, you know, I don't know why. So this year I saw them and I decided to get them for them. And I also found Biscoff cookies, which are literally my favorite cookie. And I never knew what they were because I would always get them on flights, you know, airplane flights. And then uh, yeah, I saw him in the store and I was like, oh my goodness. And I've seen him on different vlogs that I watch from like the UK. So I got them and yeah, they turned out to be the cookies I thought they were. And oh my heavens, yep, obsessed with them now. And then I also worked on this collage. Um, I hadn't added the lettering yet, but I just took a photocopy of it and stuck it in here. And that, that's a little tidbit, like when I, whenever I do artwork or anything like that, um, and I want to record it as something I had done that day, I simply photocopy it and then I resize it. I make it smaller so that it will fit in the book. So a little tip for you there. Um, and then on this day here, I just decided to do a collage. This, um, is like one whole piece. And then this was part of the same magazine clipping and it came from Pier One Imports magazine. And I do believe you can go online and um, just like request a catalog. Um, of course, if you go and you shop there, they'll send you, you know, a catalog as well. But um, I, I do believe you can go online and get one. And the great part about these magazines, it's like a, I don't know, like a home decor magazine if you're not familiar with it in the U.S., and um, what I like about these magazines is that everything is seasonal. You know, they send out seasonal things. So they, they always have the, the prettiest things, in my opinion, um, in their magazines. So, yeah, I just decided to do that and do a little quote, practice my lettering. There's my pots uh, or my, you know, dysautonomia plaque. Um, I love cutting and pasting and here's the stamp, like I said, that I had gotten yes the or the day before at Tuesday morning. So anywho, I think I'll stop there and on the next flip, I'll probably hopefully finish out this book for y'all. So thank you so much for sharing your time with me and I will catch on the next flip or the next ramble session or the next art project or something. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye.